What's going on YouTube, Gia Snow right here, so in today's video I have something very important for those of you who are jailbroken. I've been working on an application for a couple of weeks now which is called iSecure OS and this one is a must have for anybody who is jailbroken and wants to see if they have you know bad repos or malicious repos or you know repos that have outdated stuff in general or even pirate stuff so that they can steer clear from them and also other security vulnerabilities. So yesterday I posted some sort of teaser here on Twitter about the application, how it looks like, what it does and so on, how it scans your entire device while being jailbroken and lists everything you have in there. So in this video I'm going to actually show you the application for the first time ever live running. So for those of you who are interested I will release it on Reddit jailbreak and of course on my Twitter tomorrow and this application will be available tomorrow for anybody on my repo. I'm going to make a video once that is done but judging by the number of upvotes here many people consider this to be a very useful application to be created. So let's actually jump to the device and I'm going to show you how it works and what it can do for you. So we're here on a device. This device is jailbroken, has both Zebra and you know Cydia and Checkrain and many other things. It contains a lot of bad repos here in Cydia and uh, yeah I actually added quite a lot of them that were you know known to be bad and contain piracy and outdated stuff just to test the application to the max. So you can see I do have many repos in here that I shouldn't have and I definitely recommend against chemo and hack your iPhone and stuff like this because they do have very outdated tweaks and possibly even modified at some point. So once you install it it will look like this iSecure OS that logo is some sort of stylized shield in there. You actually will be able to install it via the uh, Cydia or Zebra or whatever you can see it in here it's installed. The repo is not finalized yet but it will be by the time I release it tomorrow. So once you get it it looks like this. You open it here are the details about you know everything about the application and it tells me that a scan is necessary because it's the first time this application runs on this device so it needs to know what's going on it needs to download the uh, signatures for the repos that shouldn't be there and of course that needs to be done at the initialization so I'm going to press perform iSecure OS scan and it will start scanning and as you can see it doesn't take too long and once it completes scanning it's going to prompt me to view the vulnerabilities it found or to check change my root password. You can see that the application detected the fact that I have the default root password which is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and if you never changed your password for the root account you have it too so anybody who wants to hack you can because your password is basically well known by the whole internet. So it prompts you here to change your password if it detects that and you don't have to go with terminal and you know open password or stuff like that you just press in here and you write whatever you want in there. You input the password in there and that's basically it. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead in here and see what's going on. I'm going to drop this down and view all the vulnerabilities. So if you press view all vulnerabilities you can see here a pretty long list of things that are wrong with my jailbreak that shouldn't be here but not only with my jailbreak but with my iOS in general. It does give you some security tips in here. So it tells me that the chemo repo is an unsafe repo. Well what about that? So if you press on a vulnerability it actually tells you more details about it. And it explains that pirate repos contain old, outdated and even modified or weaponized tweaks, which is indeed true. So you should definitely get rid of all the repos that are being shown in here, or at least if you still want to use them, be very very careful what you install, because they are not official and those tweaks can definitely be modified to work against you and to mine cryptocurrency on your device and stuff like that. Then it tells me that I have a tweak that shouldn't be here called local i app store. And if I press on it it says Quote, local i app store is a pirate tweak that makes some applications believe you made a real in-app purchase. Many applications are nowadays immune to it, but they may ban you because you have it installed. So you may end up with, you know, your account on various applications suspended because they detected that you have that tweak installed and you may attempt to, you know, fraud the application. So it's a good idea to get rid of it. Then it says in here default SSH password detected. So if you press on it, you're going to get something like this, which says that the default password is Alpine and you should definitely change it. And you have the option to change it in the main screen. Then it tells me the fact that the passcode is not set, which is considered a security vulnerability in here. And then of course, various other vulnerabilities that are present on this device. For example, this iOS version that I have is vulnerable to CVE 2020-27918, which is a WebKit vulnerability, which means that somebody can get code execution 
remotely and all I would need to do is to just go in Safari and access a bad website. The application tells me that there are major vulnerabilities that were exploited in the wild that my phone is vulnerable to. And then it tells me about VPN. It tells me that there is no VPN detected so it probably is a good idea to get one, install one. So that's basically, you can definitely save this log for later by pressing the uh, disk icon in there. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do. So definitely check it out tomorrow when I release it. I really hope this video created a little bit of hype for you because this is the first time I see this kind of application in the jailbreak community. And yeah, I made this application. So definitely would be happy if people use it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.